Hello, it's Sarah, and I have quite a few things to share today. Uh, it's a rainy day here in New Jersey, so I want to get started. Um, I have some more matchboxes. So, um, I also had a haul video that I didn't upload, so I'm going to include just talking about a few things, but the first thing I wanted to do was, in my previous videos, when I shared my um, matchboxes, I forgot the part that I um, popped the hole in the drawer didn't, it wasn't on the video, and I, I had a couple questions about that, so I want to go ahead and um, do that now, just because I had this last one that I didn't finish, and I just want to show you how I do that. Now, I use this tool, um, the bead landing. Um, this is the one that you use to pop the holes in your um, bottle caps as well. It has this little hole th maker thing. So I just take my box, the bottom of my box, and kind of line it up in the center of this uh, area here in the white part where I can see it. And just pop. And there you heard it. And it pops a hole. It's perfect. So um, that's how I do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my um, bead dangles on here. I hope this video doesn't take too long, but I'm going to add them because um, I'm pretty sure it does show that in the other video. But the one thing I want to just clarify too was um, I was putting little tiny ball beads, uh, silver ball beads on the bottom of these and I was having a very hard time being able to get it, get it to tighten because it would the ball would tend to as I was tightening the ball would come down around this curve and I was I kept screwing up that's why in the original video I cut that part out but it um, part of that video showed the actual process so anyway we're gonna go ahead and do it today and this is I pop my holes I use these um, B caps, or they're actually spacer beads, in between on both sides of the drawer because that way you're not pulling on the hole. You're just you, it, you have a nice um, firm area to pull. Then you just grab this. It's a uh, an eye pin. I grab it at the top and just start twisting and pushing as I go. And it really is. This is um so a uh, technique that Bonnie um. Gosh, I think it's Sassy Scrapper, Sassy Scrappers. She showed, thankfully, in her share video that she did. Now, that's a little hinge, and it's tight as could be. Um, and so I've been doing that ever since, and it's, it's a very good technique. So you take, you just, I usually use one or two beads on the bottom of mine, um, but end it off with some type of a flat be uh, spacer bead and put one on the other side as well. And then you just kind of, it's, it's awkward, but you hold, you get, grab the tip of that uh, eye pin. And once you have it, you can let go and just start twisting, pushing, like you have to hold the uh, push in as you, as you go. I can't explain it, but it's, it's an awesome technique. So there we have it. So I'll push that in there and I'm going to add my bead dangle. I want to finish it. So, um. I had my desk, I did, it took me all morning to clear off my desk. I had, it was covered with all my stuff that I was using to make these. And it's little trims and it's little doodads, but I've enjoyed these so much. Now, I don't know what people are going to do with them. I kind of think that could be a Christmas um, ornament. And it's more of a, not just a Christmas theme ornament, but it's like, Maybe it's your daughter loves, I don't know, antique stuff or something. I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll still pass as a uh, Christmas ornament because I didn't want to just make all red and green or blue. I, I was doing the snowy theme one. Um, I just couldn't resist. So one of the things I did was I was playing with this burlap paper that I showed in the haul video that I didn't post, but... Um, I got it at Joann's, and I'll show you that in a second. Let me just tie this and call it done. Grab my scissors. So I made two twall ones, and I'll go ahead and show you now. I'll do my share part. 
move this out of the way. This is just like a piece of, I don't know, I guess it's, it's felt, but it's like a different kind of felt. But these are great to have for beading because your beads don't roll all around. So I picked that up at a bead convention one time. All right, so this is my toile one I just finished, and I love it. This is Prima Paper. Um, I have a bigger piece left here, but it's from it's from one of my 6x6 pads. I've been trying to use my 6x6 pads quite a bit, and then I used uh, some of this paper on one of them, and that's pretty much it because I went with the burlap for most of them. But I just, I just did um, some tr simple trims, kept it black and cream. Oh, that's my dog. And because I put the, uh, the keyhole inside, I put a key on the bottom. Super cute. I love these. Okay, so this is my other toile one I did. And this one, I, I put stickles all over it, and I might do that on that. Because I'm just, I just squirt the stickles on my mat, and then I just rub it all over. So it gives it a little extra shimmer. And I just left a toile like scene that you could kind of see. Oh, and this is a little bow applique that Miss D sent me when she sent me her pennant. Thanks, Miss D. It looks pretty on my toile. Oh, and this is, no, that's not her trim, but I did use her trim. Which trim is it? Okay, it's coming up. So those are my two toile. What's inside this one? Oh, I just left the picture with a little bling. It was just a really nice kind of scene. So I left that. And put I put my key and my lock on the bottom. I love that. So there's those. Then I gotta show you this one is so cute. Oh my gosh. I totally really went by this one. I really like this one. The way that I just played off the paper and the black. I don't know. I just loved it. Oh, here's Miss D's trim. Um it's this this is the trim she sent me here and I rub stickles all over it this is a piece of ribbon that was just a gorgeous ribbon I put it away now but I just I like to put something on the back of these too and I just put a little um turquoise butterfly these are um loving the veneers these all these wooden veneer things these I have these are all from um Michael's these I'm gonna do my granddaughter Maya a pennant so I have them. Uh, these are from, Michael's just had a bunch of these different, um, and they don't have them anymore. It was a recollections. So it's very disappointing because, I mean, they, ha they keep changing it up. Oh, these were sent to me by Audrey, I believe. And so I've been playing with these quite a bit. And because they're small and they're little statement pieces type thing and so they worked really well when I did the um burlap too so I'll show you that but these are from Kaiser Craft these butterflies and they're um they're perfect and I love how they turned out I painted them with the Tim Holtz um this is one too I painted them with the Tim Holtz paint and then I just stickled on no I didn't stickle I did um this is the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic on top and then I put a little pearl in the middle of that one but I'm really enjoying these. Um, I'm going to save that for... I'm going to do Maya a pennant. I already did her letters. Her letters are totally much better than when I was trying to do the crackle and everything. But this one I just used... And I have to order more of these. These little flowers are from um, Wild Orchid Crafts, I'm pretty sure. And they're just the sweetest little flowers. And then I've had this in my stash forever. This um, acrylic butterfly. And you get these in the kids department. At Michael's they're like with their acrylic beads that the kids play with so this is so pretty and this is Miss D's um, trim that she sent me and then I just stickled it so pretty these this is the trims from um, the uh, hold on I'm gonna go away and come back the um, the bin at Michael's either a dollar fifty or two dollars or something and I'm loving those I have them in a lot of colors but they work perfectly for the sides of these and then you can cut them in half and put them like see I put then I put half and half on the top and bottom of that so and then these little bows are the ones from like they're near the wedding department in Michaels too a lot of my stuff comes from Michaels um AC Moore um Hobby Lobby like I am you know I don't order on it's easier for me when I see it and I have it in my hand I just love um I can get it that way better. It, when, when you're online, you're not sure of the size. You're not sure of... And I love how this turned out, too. These are, um... I want to say Mementa. 
but I don't remember. Yes, yes, I think they were Momenta from Michaels again. And I just thought the, um, the texture of that and the color of that matched this little locking key. Anyway, all right, so this one, I'm talking about this one. Stop, stop going backwards. But I just love the colors of this one. So I used uh, pink and blues, and I covered the paper, but it had, it's a very pretty Prima, Prima paper. And then inside this one, I forgot to put my butterfly in there. I got to put a butterfly. I have these, um, I think I might put one of these, a button. We'll see. It might not be blingy enough. How about this one? That's kind of peachy. I don't know. Or I could just put the other blue one, which I totally have somewhere around here. But anyway, so I'll put it. I, I forgot to do that. I can't believe it. That's weird. Because I already put the bling in there, so I must have had it ready to go. All right, so that's that one. And I have plenty of time now. So these, oh, I wanted to show this real quick. I did this in my previous video. But I actually pulled off, there was like a, a sheer uh, ribbon on top of here. And I pulled it off and put a pink one. And I just think it, it really pops it better. So these were my like really girly, cute, pretty, I don't know. I think they could pass as Christmas ornaments. If just someone wants to put... I don't know, like this one especially, this little um, cherub, but I'm going to do more of these. These are just adorable. I think I think this could definitely pass as a Christmassy one, like angels and cherubs. So these are my kind of, I don't know if they're shabby chic, but I love them. All right, so I have those. Now these are my burlap ones. This one, I think this was the first one I did, and I really, really, really love it. I had these um, beads, and they're kind of a little more like natural looking. I don't know if they're actually, they're glass, I think. But they just kind of have like white and um, brown going through them. Um, these are my trims. I had, I had this little white angel already made in my stash, so I just popped that on there. And then this is one of those, um, they were on clearance, all these bezels, and I popped out the original bezels. And this is one of the images from... Um, sweet sentiments the um graphic 45 paper line and they're just adorable these little cherubs what i put inside oh i put a butterfly inside one of the wooden ones so see the natural look and then i tried to stick with like gold and metal um other metal findings too so and i just put the burlap then on the side i was finding that these were a little loose they the the drawers were kind of slipping out too easily so i put one some of this trim on here all these trims are from, I'm telling you, they're from the Michaels bin, this one. Um, see, this is just, this is the same trim on the on the drawer, but it's just in the tan color. This one's white. Can't really see it that well. I have it in pink. I have it in blue. I think this is like, no, that's the same kind. Then this was a different kind. These are in the, um, I think, in the other aisle they're not they're in the two dollar bins i think but this was a little more um well they had them i i have so many like i've because i won in two dollars and they're little and they're perfect for these projects so this was um more of this actually has burlap in it and it's more like jute and stuff like that more natural materials and i i didn't use this color but i can't wait to use that color i used the brown one all right so anyway um and then, so the, all these trims, these trims here, not the, uh, the pearls I got from, um, Michael's. Yeah, it's in their, it's in their, um, trim aisle. And then these, uh, are the same wings that I used on this one. I just painted these white and this is how they come. And then I, I just cut them in half and then I put a little, uh, piece of filigree behind it. So look how cute. And I, I tried to use a piece of like a more natural ribbon so it's just like a tan ribbon and I use this butterfly up top so that's the first one of the uh, burlap ones and then this was my second one and I had to throw a little pink in so I didn't keep it as natural but because now this is how it comes it came with this butterfly image in there so I like that so I kept that and just played off that pink it's not the exact color this is another piece of those trims it's like these little daisy flowers and then I just put a little piece of um, pink bling in the middle of it and then a piece of filigree from um, 
the same pack this comes in this pack the filigree but then I just um, glued this like cabochon rose on top and this trim here I put I rub stickles all over everything a bead from my stash let's see what's inside here these are just and I put a little K on the bottom that's one of those butterfly buttons see I thought that looked that kind of matched a little better I think and just some like um, it's kind of like a peachy pearl and golden bling so that's my second burlap wand this one is super cool so this is the one I used it had brown trims in it um, so I put a piece of that on the front and back and then I was oh I got these um, dragonfly wings that weren't in silver so of course I had to try and make a dragonfly and I love how that turned out I just used some gold beads at the bottom two little gold rounds and then I had the I mean I've had these beads in my stash forever so I don't know where I got them they're just you know over the years you accumulate accumulate, accumulate. and then you know, that's why my desk is just like a wreck like when I'm making this stuff I'm pulling out every color you know everything I possibly can to match it up but see again you can see on here I've just done the same thing I put a pearl with a little bead cap a, be a spacer bead and a spacer bead and then you just twist that um, eye pin to hold it now this one what did I put inside here a bunch of crazy stuff a bunch of pearls just this is some bling that I've had forever too and I just kind of filled it up with that and another wooden butterfly with a heart bling on it but I put glossy accents on top of this this is um, some more of those um, these butterflies are from Mementa too these are from Michaels and I love them and they've changed their they don't have everything they used to have but um, and then just some more beads I love these too these are um, I have tons of these and you get these I get them actually I know people get them in Etsy stores and stuff but I get these in the in Michael's um, in the buttons. It's like um, uh, dress it up, I think they're called, and they're just they're flatbacks though. They're not they're not buttons, but you can get them in a bunch of different colors. So I use them all the time. And this is just like a baby food canister thing that I had, and I just as I kept opening packs, I would just throw them in here. All right, so that's my other one. Then this is my last burlap one. Um, I've had these in my stash forever too. It's a beautiful charm set that came from um, Hobby Lobby. And this is a thimble that came from a button set. It ha here I have some of them right here. But these are again that dress it up, those dress it up beads that have buttons. It had a thimble. So like here's a couple of spools of thread, buttons. These are plastic. But they're great for little accessories. Like I did roll a bunch of twine around this little wooden spool, but I was like, you yeah, know, it's just I don't, I don't. Sometimes I like what I do, and sometimes I don't. Um. So yeah. So those are really awesome. Like I got. I'm gonna go. In. I got a bunch of those for when I do Maya's. Um. I'm gonna see if they're grabbable because when I do Maya's. Um pennant or her banner I should say um, I'm going to put like little fairies oh my gosh where are they here I got um, these these all right so this is enough I can show you these but they come like look these are just little I don't even know if they're called anything but they're dressed it up and they're buttons and you just cut the shank off and you have a little fairy that you can add now and they're perfect size for like these little boxes they're perfect for like a centerpiece or whatever and like these these are other flowers I just thought they were more cutesy flowers and because she loves rainbow she loves all the colors she won't she can't pick a favorite because then she thinks she hurt the other colors feelings I think um oh I have these are Maya is a candy fiend so I bought this this is cute this has like Tootsie Rolls and bubble gum and all types of stuff. So I'm going to just see. I mean, I might not use them for that, but I was thinking they would be cute to just pop around in different areas. So anyway, um, this thimble is from that, from the buttons. Um, the, this little ruler and this little uh, metal button come from this is part of that. 
And then what else do I have? So this is just another filigree that I put on the back. And this, you can't really see it, but this is like a tan piece of ribbon too that goes up and down the middle on top of the burlap. Um, and that's from one of those natural, more natural looking, um, let's see. I don't know, one of these, it's this. It's tan of that. And I have the brown of that too on this one. And I love this little trim. This little trim is so cute. All right, sorry. This is taking me longer than I thought. So yeah, so I just put some pearls and then those are metal beads, a filigree on the back and then what's inside. Okay, this is from the buttons. So I have the tape measure. I taped that in here. This is like a needle. And I just took a piece of this um, cording, I guess they call it. And it's more like a little bit of a thin jute or something. But it's more of a natural material. I've had that forever too. So I just pulled all my stuff that was kind of more natural and played with it. So that's kind of like glued underneath, excuse me, the needle. And I put that in there. Oh, and then on the sides again, I used whatever little like I don't even know if you can see that there we go it's like that daisy trim again but it just makes it a little snugger so that it's not gonna the drawer won't fall out um so is that it yep that's it so I have four oh and then the paper I wanted to show you that so this is what this is what I use the burlap I use because there's so many varieties of burlap out there they're doing it in ribbon they're doing it in um, I don't know, just spools of it, different, different sizes of it, different, um, I mean, like, you can buy it in big sections, little sections, cheap, expensive, but this was what I thought would work best, and I actually saw some of this on, and I did some die cutting, too, did I leave that out? See, I just cleaned my desk off, and I meant to leave out <laughs> some stuff to, like, show you, but I did die cut, and it worked pretty good. Um, like here's a flower. Oh, here it is. I did. I do have it out. See, I, I haven't done a video in a while, so I knew I would have a lot to share. But like these, I think I just used like the Tim Holtz. Um, oh, I did the butterflies from the Tim Holtz uh, die. So they worked pretty good. So I'll probably put some of them on. You know, like on a more natural project too, just throw them on there. That's going to be good. I did, and I just die cut some flowers and some um, leaves. But this is good because the burlap is actually kind of backed by a thin, like, paper. I guess it's like a paper. So it doesn't fray. Because when I've tried to die cut the, uh, it was like a ribbon, I think, that I got for pretty cheap. Um, it just frays. It didn't. It didn't hold up. And I was trying to make um, some shabby chic flowers and stuff with it too, like folding it. And it gets. It gets real tore up. Um, I did do like this leaf right here, and I just like inked it. Can you see that? I inked it with a, like a tinge of green around the edge. So I thought that might look kind of cool um, in a project too. So um, that's it, guys. I guess. I have, a, I have a lot. I'm going to do a couple more videos today because I have a lot more stuff uh, that I've been working on um, that I wanted to share with you. So yeah, this burlap paper is at, was at My Joann's and it's a 6x6 six six paper pad by Die Cuts With A View. So if you want that, I would suggest that because it's really like easier to work with. Um, I can't remember who it was, but there is a stiffy stuff that you can paint onto the burlap or any material or fabric probably and um, that way you can and you probably have to coat it on both sides and you can then cut it and do whatever you want to it and it won't fray or anything so um, but those are my um, I, I think I'm gonna have to move on from these but I mean this is a lot one two three four so a ten I did a whole ten pack from the dollar store so but I love my tall ones too they turn out so cute all right, you guys, so that's it for right now. I'm going to come back with some more stuff. Thanks for watching.